Could the DJI Mini 3 already be around the corner? Let's talk about it. Before we get into the actual topic of today's video, I wanna tell you guys real quick about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a YouTube SEO tool that'll help you grow your YouTube channel quickly. Definitely check out my link in the description below to learn more. So before we talk about the DJI Mini 3, let's talk about the DJI Mini 2 real quick and recap it. So the drone has been out for a little bit over six months now, and it's been an incredible little drone to own. I personally own one and I love it. I bought it as kind of a backup drone just in case I need it. It shoots 4K video at 30 frames per second and beautiful looking 12 megapixel photos. Definitely not as nice as the Mavic 2 Pro, but still a great bang for your buck for $400. Well, now we're already at the point where we're gonna have to start talking about the next generation of this drone, the DJI Mini 3. So let's start with the name. It could very well be the DJI Mini 3, or we could see a DJI Mini 2S, kind of like the Air 2S that was released earlier this year. I'm not sure which route DJI is gonna go, but based on what they did with the Air 2S, I'm thinking there could be a very real chance that it's called the DJI Mini 2S to keep with that same naming scheme but we're not gonna know for sure until either closer to the release date or when it's actually announced. Of course, one of the biggest selling points is that the drone only weighs 249 grams, which allows you to avoid having to register it through the federal database on Drone Zone, at least here in the United States and probably other countries around the world have similar rules. So we are definitely expecting the Mini 3 to stick to the same weight guideline. Just like with the last version of this drone, we should be seeing the battery slide in from the back, and the battery shouldn't really change that much, especially if it's a Mini 2S type of upgrade. Really what we're going to be looking at is the specs. So of course a better camera is one of them. We're probably going to see 4K at 60 frames per second with the Mini 2S or the Mini 3, which is just incredible to think about because we don't even have that right now with the Mavic 2 Pro. This website also claims that there could be a 64 megapixel camera, which is absolutely insane. This would really bring the quality of this drone up to a whole new level. And it's definitely something that you could use for professional work if it can shoot 64 megapixel photos and 4K at 60 frames per second video. Another thing that we're also expecting to see on the Mini 3 is OcuSync 3.0, which will dramatically improve the connectivity with the drone. We've seen this with the DJI FPV drone and the Air 2S, so there is no reason why DJI wouldn't want to include this on the Mini 3. Although we didn't see any kind of obstacle avoidance with the Mini 2 other than on the bottom, we are potentially gonna see front and rear obstacle avoidance with the Mini 3, which would be awesome. I really do think that DJI should do this because most of the time people get the Mini because it's their cheapest drone and it's their first drone and they're scared. They don't want to fly something too expensive and crash it. So to add obstacle avoidance would really help out a lot of those beginners. And it's something that I don't even utilize on my Mavic 2 Pro because I consider myself a pro level drone flyer. For somebody that is just starting out, these features could really be useful. Another thing that we might see on the Mini 3 is active track. Now DJI would not put active track on the Mini 2 because they were concerned about overheating issues. With the Mini 3, there's a very real chance that DJI could overcome these heating issues and have active track and a much better version of it. We're expecting the active track with the DJI Mavic 3 to be really honestly just something out of this world, kind of like the Sky Duo. So if they could bring that new technology to the Mini 3, that would be awesome. Now let's talk price. So right now you can get the Mini 2 for $400 and that comes with just the drone, a battery, and the remote control. For the Mini 3, we could see a bump in the price up to $500 because of all these new features and technology. Is it worth it to pay the extra $100? Definitely. I mean, if we have all of those features, you're basically getting a pro level type of drone at a $500 price. And with all these rumors surrounding the Mini 3, it's definitely a drone that I am looking 
very forward to getting my hands on. The DJI Mini 2 has by far been one of the most popular DJI drones on the market and definitely introducing these crazy features to the Mini 3 is going to be a game changer for DJI and just for the drone industry as a whole and it's going to raise the bar on what people expect from their drones especially a consumer drone like the Mini series. So real quick let's talk about a release date. We're looking at around a quarter three to quarter four release for this drone. It could even be pushed into next year but based off of what I've been seeing online we're going to be looking at around the September to December time frame. This puts that right in line with the release of the DJI Mavic 3. There's a very real chance that we'll see both of these drones announced at the same time. Even though that hasn't been what DJI has typically done in the past, it's very possible that they could have a huge event with lots of new products. Anyway, I'm curious to know what you guys know and what you guys think about the DJI Mini 3. Definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. It supports the channel and I really appreciate you guys being here. Also, give it a thumbs up so that this video ranks higher in the algorithm. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.